Today we are going through how the grow pipe system works. In essence, we have grown some arugula here, we're growing some red mustard here, we're growing some toothache and some tagetes over here. What is happening here, we have put four lights. So there is two lights up here and then two lights right above each other. And that's the only light that we have put into this system. You can see here, the arugula starts growing pretty good and it's actually very happy. If you saw the other video with this system we made where we measured the PPFD value, you would know how much intense the light is in different areas. If you haven't watched it, go find it. It's on our YouTube channel as well. So this is just a very, very basic understanding of how the system works. So we pump the water from the bottom tank down here. We fill it up with fertilizer and then we pump it up through this tube up to these dribblers up here. We chose the wrong drippers. This was not supposed to grow like this. So the drippers that Grow Pipes has already included in the system are the setup that we would recommend you using. So as you can see, we have not been using that much electricity or lighting. And when we use these small drippers, we need a huge pump down here. This is not necessary if we use the other irrigation system that Grow Pipes already has set up. But then the water just trickles down and if one of them clogs up, it still makes the tube inside the pipe moist. So that means that if one of these clogs and the other one runs, then it will still get enough water and nutrients to keep growing. That is until the water gets down here and then it runs back into the tank. So that is essentially how you do it. We started and propagated the plants in the propagation tent under LED lights in a propagator. And after about three to four weeks, we planted them out in the system here. So you can optimize this as much as you wanna, but this is something that you can make more optimized. You can make it more profitable if you know exactly how much time you can give it in propagation time and when is the perfect time to put it out in the system. This is something you have to play with and this is something you have to learn by doing it and by experience. But that is a short update of the grow pipe system and hopefully you also understand a bit better how everything works now.